Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I am Lori. I am so glad you're here. If you're returning, thanks guys for being here. I truly appreciate you. Today I am doing an alert unboxing. That is kind of new. I haven't done alert for quite a while. I do them and then I get frustrated with them and then I don't get them anymore and then I go back to them. That's the love-hate relationship I have with the Allure Beauty Box. And I have two. I have two of them. Because I got, I enrolled last month, right at the end of the month, and got it early this month. When I received my box, this month's box had already shipped. So I thought, I'll just wait to unbox this one with this one and then this one this one went on a journey it <laughs> it traveled all over it went to Idaho and then it went back to the distribution center then it went to Denver well Commerce City and then went back and then it finally got to me but it like sat in Idaho and in Colorado for a hot minute. So I don't understand why it took so long to get here, but it did. But we finally have it. So let's open them. I have opened them up to make sure everything was good. So let's go over them. Let's start with... Let's start with last month's box. This has, I believe, an extra item for signing, you know, signing up with them. Of course, you get the magazine. And I do know the Allure Beauty Box is changing in November, December, November. And it's going to be $23 a month now. And I believe we are getting three full-size items, guaranteed full-size items. I could be wrong on that number, but I know that we are getting a proportionate amount of larger items. So they're trying to um, step up to compete with BoxyCharm, I'm assuming, but I don't know. I haven't decided whether I'm going to continue since they are at a higher price point. I haven't decided. So let's go over what we got in the box. And I will put on the screen how much it is for a full size item since the majority of these are not full size items, but it's just easier to put what the price is for a full size item here, whether it's a full size or a deluxe size sample. So this first thing I'm pulling out is by Waterless. I don't know who Waterless is. It's a dry conditioner, instant moisture, conditions dry hair to control frizz. I'm excited to try this. If it will control my frizz, I am all about that. So that's exciting. That's way exciting. Then we have Cleo Noir. It's a twist up eyeliner. And I am going to make the assumption it's black, but that doesn't mean it is, but they tend to be. I've never heard of Cleo Noir. Have you guys? If you have, leave me a comment down below telling me what you think of them. Okay, one, this is a very fine point. Can you see that? And it looks like it's a purple. So that's exciting. Let's swatch this. I wasn't gonna swatch it if it was black, but okay. So there's not, it's not very pigmented, is it? Okay, well, am I being too gentle because I'm afraid it'll break? No, I kept coloring it and it's still pretty light. So I'll have to play with that and 
see. I will do a look using my Allure items and my Ipsy items. I may do them separately. I may do them together. But I will do that. I received the La Roche-Posay and Thelios sunscreen. It's a sun SPF of 50. I have multiples of these and I really like it. I received Wonder Beauty's Unlashed Mascara. It is a volume and curl mascara. If I remember correctly, I, I wasn't a fan of this only because it transferred onto my under eye. I'm going to have to go back into my videos and see because I know I talked about this in a video because I've had it before. I hope you can't hear that squeaking of my mouth, but if if I can find it, I will find out. And if, it, if I did have that problem, I'm just going to pass this along. If I didn't, then I'm gonna keep it because for some reason, I'm having a heck of a time lately with that issue. I received one of my favorite favorite items and that is a cleansing balm by Elemis. It's their pro collagen cleansing balm. I love this cleansing balm. I think it is really good. So I just used up, I believe my last full size cleansing balm. So I have a few of these and a couple of other cleansing balms. And then I'll, I will have used them all up. So I'm glad I got another one and I love this. I received a brush by NYX. And this one, well, it doesn't say what it is. Let's look in the magazine. I received the Pro Contour brush. We could have received the contour brush or highlighting brush. I received the contour brush. I would have had the, rather had the highlighting brush, but that's okay. I have the contour brush and it will get lots of use. I do like NYX's brushes. I don't have a lot of them, but I do like the ones I have. I received a sheet mask. This is by Glam Up. It's a soothing aloe texture refinement sheet mask. I've never heard of Glam Up either. So if you've tried them, let me know what you think of them. Oh, I thought this was an eyeshadow palette. It's not. I received the Moonchild palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This looks gosh darn similar to my other highlighting palette by her. Hmm, I don't I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. I'm gonna have to compare the two to see if there's much of a difference. I mean I can look at it and see there's a difference, but I don't know. I don't think there's much, so I may pass this along. So that's what I received in my September box, which is basically my starter box. So if I don't pass this along, I will use this in a look along with the mascara, maybe the Cleo Noir eyeliner, that purple one, the NYX br brush, and that's it from this box. So when I, so let's open up October's box. This is a different box. It isn't like their old lidded boxes, which I actually liked because I used them for lots of different things. So this is a little different. We still have the magazine. And again, I will put the prices down below. Let's look at what we have. I received a Wilma Schumann, a Wilma Schumann hydrating collagen eye pads. So I, ha I have some eye pads, but I've never used them. I think I should check them out, see what they're all about, what the fuss is. So if you like eye pads, let me know down below what you think of them. Okay, this one is by Verso. It's a super eye serum with retinol. It has a five on it. When I look at it in the camera, the five looks normal. When I look at it this way, the five is backwards. 
I don't know what that means, but so hopefully this is a good eye serum. You guys know my love-hate relationship with eye under eye products. I struggle. I received a pure mix. Oh, it's by Rusk. It's from their pure mix line, and I received the native fig replenishing shampoo and replenishing conditioner. I'm excited to try this. If it smells like fig, oh, I will be in heaven. I love, I love fig, the scent of figs. So I'm excited to try this. This is very, I'm looking in here, it's a very skin care heavy box. We received a Dr. Jart Ceramidin Cream. I am excited I received this. I have been wanting to try the Ceramidin Cream. I have tried a couple of other items from the Dr. Jart line that I've really, really liked, but I haven't tried this one and I have wanted to, so I'm excited that I got this. The new company, it's Topical C. It has fresh vitamin C, firms, fine lines, smooths, brightens, and is an antioxidant. So I am going to um, make the leap that this is a serum. It's potent powdered vitamin C is activated in the palm of your hand, helping to boost collagen production, reduce fine lines and brighten skin. Ferroluic acid stabilizes and increases absorption, while colloidal oatmeal and aloe vera soothe and calm. So if this works, I will be excited. I have wanted to try a powdered vitamin C um, skincare product. I know Good Molecules has one that is sitting in my cart as we speak. I just haven't bought anything from Beautylish in a while. So yeah, I'm excited to try this. Another La Roche-Posay, this is the Lip Car Balm. Lipicar Balm. I always say that wrong. It's the Intensive Repair Moisturizing Cream. So another La Roche-Posay. And then we received a Sigma Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the shade Venom. It looks like it is a dark red, so I may pass this along to Jordan. It's not, it's not that dark red. It's more of a bright red. It's like a pinky red. I may keep that and try it and see what I think of it. That's the only makeup item. So that is Venom by Sigma. I have nothing by Sigma. Not a brush, not makeup, nothing. So I'm excited to try this. And I missed one. There's one more item in here. We received a nail polish by Static Nails. I'm excited. I don't have a polish by Static Nails. And this is in the shade Irene. Look at that. That's gorgeous. That is a beautiful nude. Ooh, I can't wait to put that on the nail. I have not worn polish this month. I don't think I have put polish on my nails once since I creamed my finger because it still hurts. That nail hurts. I had a nail strengthener on there and I finally took it off today and I couldn't believe how painful it still was. So yeah, not a lot of action on my nail polish this month. So that is it for the items that I received from Allure for this month. And the only makeup item is the liquid lipstick. So when I do a look, I think I'm going to have to combine it with Ipsy because I have this eyeliner by Cleo Noir. I have the mascara Maybe by Wander Beauty, Sigma's Venom lipstick, and the Moonchild palette by ABH. So that's what I will be using to do it. Look, I 
If you are interested in the lure box, I will have a link down below. Of course, I get something for it if you use that. I honestly have zero clue what I get if you use that link. So if you would like to use that so I could get whatever, <laughs> um, feel free to do so. And if you would rather not, that's okay too. But, you know, I... I do have a love-hate relationship with Allure. I come back and cancel all the time, but obviously I like them because I have come back. So that's it for my Allure unboxing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you get Allure, what do you think about the, their change that is happening next month? I'm really interested to know people's thoughts on it. If it's enough if it's not enough for the price point i'm really interested to know your thoughts because i'm truly on the fence about it so that's it guys please take good care be safe be smart and i will see you on the next one bye